Hi everyone, my name is Les and thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Alpi Cool uh, refrigerator and the uh, Progeny uh, uh, solar generator right here. Uh, we're going to be running this just strictly off the 12 volts. Uh, this battery has been fully charged and allowed to sit for 24 hours before we start this test. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to turn everything else off other than the 12 volts so that we don't waste power on the uh, power inverter portion of this. Um, we've actually went ahead and stocked this refrigerator. It does have food inside of it and it also has a wireless uh, thermometer which is going to this guy right here. So this refrigerator was set to 40 degrees. It was started up yesterday. Uh, that way there we're not wasting power trying to get it um, down the temperature. Uh, the goal is to find out how long we can actually run this refrigerator off of this battery pack without using um, any other external devices plugged into it. So this is all it's going to be running. The current temperature is showing that it's about 43 degrees inside the unit. Uh, the ambient temp uh, room and, uh, temperature in the room is about 72 degrees. Uh, I do have a stopwatch so we're going to time it as well to see how well it does. Um, unfortunately this solar generator does not have a regulated 12 volt power supply uh, so we will have to change the settings for the low voltage cutoff on the front of the menu which I will show you how to do. Um, uh, to alleviate that I actually purchased a power booster which is this guy right here, which would allow me to take the low voltage. Uh, this thing seems to drop all the way down to about nine and a half volts. Uh, it'll take that and bump it up to uh, 12 volts. Uh, that's what I had it set to, but when I originally tested that, this would run for about 45 minutes and the unit actually completely shut down and had to be reset to get it started again. So for this test, we're just gonna do it directly off the 12 volt with the low voltage uh, cutoff turned off. So we're relying on this guy to actually kill the power. So um, let's get started. Okay, to change the low voltage cutoff, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold this little gear button, the settings button. And we're gonna wait till the H starts flashing and we're gonna press it one time to put it in low voltage uh, cutoff so that it doesn't die on us. Leave it alone. mode we just press it once press it again now it's in eco mode okay uh, we finished our test the results were pretty interesting this uh, progeny power bank was actually able to run this refrigerator over a duration of uh, 14 hours. Now, that does not mean it ran continuously during that time. Um, what it did is it actually cycled uh, uh, 24 times. And for each cycle, what it did is it came on for about seven and a half to eight and a half minutes. It was pretty consistent. And then it would uh, shut off for 25 to 30 minutes. Um, so after going through and doing the math, um, turns out that the total running uh, time for this compressor off this battery bank was 3 hours and 13 minutes. Um, at that point it gave an F1 error indicating it wasn't able enough to pull, pull enough juice to, uh, to continue running. Um, which is good to know. That's great because um, um, depending on the conditions, if you want some place that was hot, and this thing was was continuously running, at least you know you could at least get that amount of runtime out of it. Um, the temperature in the room stayed between 70 and 74 degrees. We were able to pull 9.2 amp hours out of the solar generator or 111 watt hours. So this will power this unit, which is, which is really nice and run it for a long time. We did have to change the settings on the refrigerator to the eco mode and once again change the low voltage cut off to its lowest possible setting. Uh, hope this helps. Thanks for watching.